Look at my look at my boot. See it's split. Hey there YouTube viewers, welcome back to Groundhog's Garage. My name is Jim. Today we are working on my 2005 Tahoe and we are working on it because I want to replace the control arms on the front right wheel. It's got almost 150,000 miles on it. I want to take it in to get the front end aligned because the tires aren't wearing exactly well, they aren't wearing very well at all. As you can see, we got a little bit more wear on the inside than we do over the rest of the tire. So, and it's actually visible that you can see a little too much positive camber in the in how the wheel sits. So, I've got the wheel off. I'm getting ready to take the uh, the top one top control arm off. As far as these vehicles go, these uh, this particular platform all these all these control arms are ambidextrous so it'll fit the left or the right side so I figured I'd start with this side and even if there wasn't anything wrong and it just needed alignment which is highly unlikely um, I can get bushings in a ball joint and just replace this control arm and put it on the next side and then if I want to I can use that and replace it on another vehicle so it's kind of a spare really if you want to look at it that way and uh, we can just move on down the line. Um, obviously the lower control arm is a little different, but uh, that's neither here nor there. I just want to freshen it up so I don't have to worry about it anymore. And uh, when I take it to get it uh, aligned, they don't tell me that, oh, you're off a, <laughs> a degree or a half a degree on your alignment, and you're going to need a whole new front end rebuild, and yeah, we can do that for you for a thousand dollars. I was like, nah, I can do it myself. So, uh, I thought I'd bring you along and uh, let's get this thing torn apart. And if you've watched other videos of this, of when I've worked on this truck, uh, you'll know it's a Florida vehicle. So, I don't expect I'm going to have too much trouble getting all the the bolts out probably be a pretty easy endeavor Florida sand loose. 10 millimeter up here holding the brake line to the control arm. Get that off of there. Get that loose. Got that loose. Let's get the uh, spindle bolt out. What do you think that is? 16 millimeter? Nope. Let's try 18. Tops are loose already. It's gonna be a breeze. Top one's gonna be a breeze. I can get this top spindle out. It's awful loose. Makes me think that ball joint's probably. Top one's not that expensive. I think it was 80 some dollars. 
which isn't bad. Bees. And if you heat that up and a lot of grease comes out, make sure you wipe that grease off before you start hammering on it again. You wouldn't want to splash yourself with that stuff. helps yeah the ball joints kind of loose not too much going on there here is my new piece from Moog Compliments of Summit, not compliments, I bought it at Summit Racing, they are not a sponsor, but if you want to sponsor me, I'm here. So let's put this back on. It's one of their problem solvers, although, so the one I had, the one that was in the car, had a grease fitting on it. And I don't remember GM doing grease fittings too often, but apparently on this one they did. Okay, the original nut under here was a compression aircraft type nut. This one is a castle nut, so little difference there but not much oops that's one way to tighten it up <laughs> uh, got my cotter pin somewhere So I've got the uh, upper control arm in. I'm just trying to squeeze in the uh, the bolts into the holes there. Um, I don't know if I get a hammer back here or not. I don't think I can, but should be able to get it squirt through. It looks like it's lined up pretty well. Let's put the other one in here. Oh, that one's not lined up. So I'm going to get this one in here first, and then I'll bring it back. never done this before the uh, guides on the side have a flat spot on to go on the center bolt there so when you adjust it they turn both the uh, inner and outer guides and then the factory puts these in to uh, wherever they adjust it make sure it stays there if you don't put these in or you don't have something to hold it you're gonna hit a hard bump and the uh, these bolts are gonna you'll hit a hard bump and uh, these guides will slide and your your alignment goes right out the window that's what these pins are here for um, you can get aftermarket ones because if the, the factory ones aren't right after you replace your parts 
Summit Racing sells them, probably AutoZone and the other places, but I know I've seen them at Summit Racing, you can get them online. And the, the one I've got actually, if this doesn't work, has uh, it's metal and it has multiple pins all the way down so you get your alignment and then you just put it on there and you're good to go. And if those pins, if you lose those pins, you can get those at GM, wherever you need to go. So now I'm refastening the brake line. Uh, it's just a 10 millimeter bolt that holds this bracket on. There's a 10 millimeter bracket that holds, or a 10 millimeter bolt that holds this bracket on. And then this is the ABS line, and I didn't remember to put it over the arm before I put this in here, but it's no big deal. You can just unplug it from here, which I'm going to do here, and uh, put this where it's supposed to be up on top of this up on top of this arm, because this goes this one here goes in here, and I can't even get it there. Don't. Oh. This goes this goes in here like that and this here went up here and then I got to take this one off the other arm here that goes right here there we go can you see that it goes right there but it looks like on this one like it's just a uh, push in so I'll take this off and we'll get it on there. Got that plugged in, got this in. Alright, let's get this punched out here. Okay, I'm back and I busted it. So what I'm gonna do is use a tie wrap here just put it through the bolt hole until I can get uh, the proper little piece there and this should be good for now that ain't gonna go anywhere we're good here we're good here we're good here let's tighten up the castle nut And there it is. All right, so that only took what an hour. I'm gonna go check my my phone here. Yeah, it was an hour. You can't beat that with a stick. Hey guys, how are you doing? I'm going to show you this. This is about three months after I uh, follow up on the control arms that I put on that were Moog control arms. Um, I had to get, this is my very last spark plug that I had to replace and had to take the uh, um, inner fender liner out, wheel off. That plug wire was a bear to get off of there. And that plug isn't exactly easy. Had to get a uh, 3 8 inch uh, swivel. But anyway, I want to show you this on my, my Moog control arm. Um, and this isn't a big deal. 
It only took me about an hour to replace that. I hate doing these things twice. I hate to do anything twice because a part wasn't good. But look at my look at my boot. See it's split. And I'd have never known that if I didn't have to go in here and replace a spark plug. It might have been a year or two. I'm gonna have to go back and pull out my receipt and see how long the warranty is on this. Because uh, obviously I'm gonna have to replace that. Kind of bums me out, but this is a moot control arm. Or you'd like to think it. <laughs> There's that last company standout that's quality is legendary, which Moog used to be. So anyway, I just wanted to show you that, and that's where we're at. I took the upper control arm out and took it to Summit Racing. I went on to Summit Racing's website, and they actually have the uh, warranty listed there. And I want to say it was uh, good for manufacturing for at least three years. Some of them have a lifetime warranty. So I took it out and the boot didn't tear. Um, and unfortunately I didn't think to video it. So Summit Racing did replace the part or exchange it for me. Let me show you. This is a new one. I didn't think to video the uh, old one but the boot didn't tear it actually slipped out from underneath the ring here and even that look at that even that ring is not on there that and even that ring isn't on there that tight that's actually pretty loose so and some of you are going to say ah you put too much grease in it well, I got to believe that you should be able to put at least two or three pumps in something and it's loose, so it should have leaked out. So there's no good reason why that should have slipped out just putting two, and I, you know, I put a lot of ball joints and control arms on in my life. I know better, so, and it should have leaked out here. This is pretty loose here, so I'm actually going to put a uh, tie wrap around here just for safe measure but uh, just so you know don't get aggressive with the grease though it should have uh, no way that should have happened so um, that that ring is loose so note to move you might want to increase your compression air just a little bit so anyway I'm going to stick this back in the car and uh, put a pump or two of grease in that again but I am going to put a uh, tie wrap on that Okay, so I put a tie wrap over the, the ring they have on there. Um, give it a little bit more pressure because I don't want that slipping off again. That's a pretty poor design actually. Or, or they just don't have enough, what would that be, torque compression on the, on the actual boot itself. So, and I don't have it on the boot itself. I think I said it's on the compression ring. There's actually a gap. So I don't have to worry about the edge of the uh, of the uh, tie wrap tearing into the boot or anything like that. And I'm just going to call this. Uh, and this only takes I don't know 10 minutes to put it back in. It's pretty easy. I'm going to show you. I got it zoomed in on the boot. And uh, just so you know, I don't put too much in. But usually, when I grease these, once I see a little movement in the boot, then I uh, I pull off. So. This was pretty empty because I was squeezing it. There's nothing in it. So there's one, two, I'm going to put one more in, three. Okay, so I just saw the boot move a little bit, so I know there's grease in there, and that's good enough. But I'm happy to say Summit Racing didn't give me any grief whatsoever. They, they, I had my receipt, and the guy, so what's it been? It's been about five months since I replaced it. It was the end of August, and now it's the middle of December, and... Uh, yeah, no questions asked. So uh, it's a pain doing this twice, but uh, it's not a hard job. It maybe took me a half hour to get it out and ten minutes to put it back in. So anyway, thanks for watching the video. Uh, hopefully that uh, might save you a little bit of work to make sure that you don't. Uh, I don't even want to say I got aggressive because I didn't. It just came off. So um, be aware of that problem if you're putting control arms on your Tahoes. 
Escalade, Yukons, Denali's, whatever. Yeah, and that upper control arm is a piece of cake, but uh, nobody wants to do a job twice. So anyway, um, if you like what you see, there's a lot of this. Subscribe down below and uh, smash that like button and uh, hope to see you come back. So have a great day.